Thomas Edison gave us the electric light bulb and is remembered as one of the greatest inventors of all time. Without Thomas Edison, we wouldn't even recognize the world as we see it today. Every time we turn on a light switch or an electric motor, we see the fingerprints of his innovation. Born in 1854 in Milan, Ohio, Edison's first job was selling newspapers on the railroad. By age 15, he was a telegraph operator, where he became interested in electrical science. Edison set out to be an inventor. He hadn't really gone to school to be a, uh, a scientist or engineer, but by the time he set up his invention factory in Menlo Park, he was producing inventions the way we would produce machines. Edison's first invention to sell was an improved stock ticker, which was a huge success. With his proceeds, Edison created a research laboratory at Menlo Park, New Jersey in 1876. The Menlo Park laboratory that Edison set up was the first of its kind. Today we would have called it an incubator, but at the time it was unique. In 1880, Edison came upon a really practical incandescent bulb using a carbon filament and also an electrical generating system to distribute the electricity to these light bulbs, which fundamentally changed the way that we live. Our society suddenly became a 24-hour society. Thomas Edison acquired a staggering 1,093 patents in his lifetime. The storage battery, the motion picture projector, the motion picture camera, the phonograph or record players we would call it nowadays. We take for granted that we can listen to any music we want to hear at any time without having to go to a concert hall. But that was not possible before Edison. Thomas Edison made music and pictures more accessible. In 1928, Congress valued Edison's work at $15 billion when it awarded Edison the Congressional Gold Medal. When Edison died in 1931 at the age of 84, his estate was only worth $12 million due to decades of defending his patents in court and the Great Depression. Most of Thomas Edison's research was not to understand why something behaved the way it did, but try to understand how to make it better. Edison said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And I think we could all learn from that.